Hello guys, good morning to all of you. This is Mike Razia, and now we are going to get discuss about the simple microscope, compound microscope, and telescope. So let me discuss here. First of all, what is visual angle and magnifying power? So This is I and here this is an object and this is an image like this is image and this is object. So objective angle is this is alpha and this is beta. So Visual angle, the angle subtended by any object in the eye is known as visual angle, that is alpha. Okay? Visual angle means the angle subtended by any object in the eye. The angle subtended by any object in the eye this is known as visual angle and that is alpha and magnifying power that is denoted by m it is equal to the ratio of angle subtended by an image in the eye and angle subtended by an object in the eye that is equal to beta by alpha and this if these are smaller angles then it can also write as tan beta and tan alpha so m is equal to tan beta upon tan alpha so simply we can say that the magnifying power is equal to the ratio of angle subtended by an image in the eye and angle subtended by any object in the eye it means beta by alpha and if these angle are smaller than m is equal to tan beta by tan alpha so this is the magnifying power so let me discuss here simple microscope simple microscope so you know that this is a convex lens or simply we can say that it is a converging nature of a lens okay it is a lens of a converging nature okay and which is used uh, just said a uh, microscope for the seeing a larger uh, image of any object okay so simply my simple microscope is this uh, uh, converging nature of a lens okay and it used as a microscope it used as a microscope to see the larger size of uh, image of any object so uh, Whenever it plays to nearer or less than its focal length of any object and on other side we place their eyes so we can see its erect and virtual image just like this erect magnifying and virtual image by this simple microscope so simple microscope is a simply we can say that it is a converging nature of a lens which used as a microscope by which we will see a larger size of any object larger size image of any object so whenever we placed it nearer to any object with less less than its focal length and on other side we place the eyes like this okay so we can see its 
virtual erect and magnifying image so let me discuss here this is a simple microscope like this and find ever this is for focal whenever any object placed between focal point and optical center first focal and optical center then you know that its image form just like this this is its image if this is object then this is its image a dash b dash image and this is object okay so you know that this is object lens u and negative and this is image lens v and we can say that this is ue and this is ve and both are negative because both lies in left side so this is angle beta okay the uh, angle subtended by the image and simply we can say that okay and mv dash is equals to ab so this is an angle alpha okay so you know that magnification is equal to beta upon alpha that is equal to tan beta upon tan alpha f and for the objective then ab this is alpha o and this is b so according to this we can write this here tan beta and tan alpha put the values of tan beta and tan alpha so tan beta where tan alpha and tan beta are tan alpha that is perpendicular by base it means mb dash is equal to ab upon Yeah, I said it would be MB dash or AB upon P dash O. This is tan <coughs> alpha, okay, and tan beta is equal to perpendicular by base this triangle AB upon. it is equal to ab upon ob okay so putting this value in the magnification so that m is equal to tan beta upon tan alpha where tan beta is equal to ab upon ob and tan alpha is equal to ab upon ob dash so it is equal to ab upon ob into ob dash upon ab so m is equal to ob dash upon ob okay and that is equal to t upon u okay both are negative so simply you can write this t upon u e this is the magnification of ipc lens okay so let me discuss here what will be its magnification so whenever object placed magnifying power so point image form 
at b means image form at the least distance of the distinct vision d so it means b e is equal to minus d u e is equal to u e okay and f e is equal to f e so using 1 by f is equal to 1 by b minus 1 by u this is the lens formula and putting the value 1 by f e minus d minus 1 upon minus u okay so it will be is equal to 1 by d idhar kar dijiye to plus ho jayega 1 by f e and it is equal to 1 by u e aur isme ab hum dono taraf d se multiply kar de मल्टीप्लाइंग बाई डी बूथ साइड दोनों ही तरफ हमने डी से मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया तो ये मैग्निफाइंग पावर बन जाएगा डी अपॉन यू ई दैट इज डी माइनस वन अपॉन डी प्लस वन अपॉन एफ ई सो डी बाई यू ई दैट इज इक्वल टू मैग्निफाइंग पावर माइनस डी बाई डी प्लस डी अपॉन एफ ई so m is equal to minus 1 so ye minus plus hai so 1 plus d upon f so this is the magnifying power of simple microscope okay so whenever image form at the distinct at the least distance of distinct vision at d an object is ue focal length for eyepiece lens is fe so using this formula lens formula so putting all this value so here 1 by ue is equals to 1 by d plus 1 by fe and multiplying by d in both sides so it is equals to like this so d by ue you know that this is the magnifying power so m is equals to 1 plus d by fe in this way we can solve the magnifying power of the simple microscope